Hi everyone and welcome to Take a Look at Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club. Logan is not feeling good tonight, so we're going to do uh, Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews tomorrow. He said his stomach doesn't feel good, so we'll just wait because he wouldn't be able to do a good review if, he, if it was. It seems like it's been bothering him some lately. If it keeps on, we're going to have to have it checked out. But anyway, that's what he, what he told me, so uh, here we go. Let's see, we're going to show you some stuff from, uh, I've got three groups on Facebook. One is Take a Look at, uh, Take a Look at, one is Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club, and then Color Me Happy Club, and then Gardening with Friends. So, here's what, uh, oops, what did I do? I press something. Here's what you're looking for when you, well, daggum, what did I do? I knocked it right off. I don't know what I've done. Nope, here it is. Here's what you're looking for. And it just flipped off of that. What are you doing? And right now we got 633 members. Everybody has a really good time. Send in all kinds of different things. Here's Rosa Rod's uh, daily one that she sends in. Each morning, that's Rosa Rodriguez, and here's one from Kimmy's Kitchen. Check her channel out on YouTube. Wow, this looks great. It says Chinese night. We had one the other night. Well, it's probably on here. It looks great. Check out Ch Kimmy's channel. And yeah, and here's ours. I had chicken. I fixed chicken lo mein and egg rolls, and the sauce kind of got out of hand there, but. I like a lot of sauce with my egg roll. <laughs> and Joy sent a, a recipe. This is taco cups. And I need to find one to something to. Here's Kimberly uh, Westervelt. She said, I made a different kind of s'more. I used the chocolate stuffed marshmallow and the Snickers peanut butter brownie bar. It wasn't that bad. That sounds pretty good to me. I know what you're talking about, those uh, ones with the chocolate in them. Uh, they would make, uh, you'd think that'd be like a, uh, you don't have to do one step there because it's already in it. Here's one from Sandra Hart Peebles. Sharing three meals from this past week. It's a spinach omelet, Fuji apple with peanut butter, with natural peanut butter. Ezekiel bread toasted with strawberry spread and the bread is sprouted grain and the spread is not jelly or jam. It's just like it's like just strawberries. Looks good. Looks healthy. Here's one from Jackie Howard. It says breakfast is served. I love a big breakfast. I was talking about that this morning. That looks good to me. There's one from Sharon Hagen. Semi-sweet butter creams with jimmies and candied nuts made today. Ooh. Now I'm going to get hungry. I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> We're having fajitas tonight. Ooh, uh, here's Colleen Langham. Went to Paula Dean's restaurant in Savannah while on vacation. It's a must. Oh gosh, look at this, y'all. Mm, I don't know. I'd like to have that. <laughs> uh, here's Crystal Lane, and uh, she has a channel, Crystal's Pets and Plants. Check her channel out. She does a lot of neat things. Um, says, my dinner tonight for Mother's Day from Applebee's. Oh gosh, that looks great. Oh man, my stomach's rumbling. <laughs> and here Joy sent another recipe. Easy made Italian meatloaf. Oh, that looks good. Italian meatloaf. And here's another one from Kimmy's Kitchen. Uh, my Mother's Day dinner stuffed salmon, seasoned, seasoned potatoes, and broccoli with cheese. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Ooh. 
And here's the other night we didn't feel like cooking. We were so tired. I think it was the night we mowed. And I worked in the garden and did other things. And we got this local place called Pal's Sudden Service. This is a big pile of cheese and what they call their, they call them Frenchy fries. You can see on the bag there it says Frenchy. Well, maybe I'd have to do it upside down to do it that way. See Frenchy fries? Oh no, it messed up the thing. Yeah. Uh, that's, the, let me tell you, that's delicious. They fix them. I mean, they're ready like that. You don't, you don't have to wait. I mean, even if they're busy, it seems like you get, they're just fast. But it's always hot and everything. It's not cold like it's been sitting around or something. But it's always nice and warm. Uh, this is one from Danielle Rogers. says, my daughter's lunch. Ooh, that looks really healthy and really good. I like how you did the cucumbers in there, uh, Danielle. Here's uh, one morning. We got something for breakfast. I think we had to go out and do something. And we just got, because they're open late. They are they got breakfast all day at Bojangles. But here's the sausage egg cheese. And yes, I have to have tomato on it. It keeps it from being dry for me. Especially when I get the homemade uh, tomatoes I'm going to have out here. The homegrown. I mean, not homemade. I guess they're homemade too. Um, I didn't even press like it. Um. Here's Mother's Day dinner I fixed uh, for Joy. Actually, she helped with the salad. She insisted. But it was really good. We were going to have a baked potato, but we had some of those Bob Evans uh, mashed potatoes. And uh, so we had them. Here's Danielle Rogers. I'm having leftover steak and salad for lunch today. Well, that sounds fantastic. Here's one from Kim Collender. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Toast, raisins, bacon, yogurt with granola and coffee. This is probably from like last Thursday. And here's uh, dinner one other night. I, may, I fixed um, uh, those chicken tenders from Sam's Club and some of the the golden crinkle fries or rider fries from Sam's and I put some seasoning some french fry seasoning and I fixed slaw and uh, that's ketchup and Polynesian sauce the Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce the sauce you saw with the egg roll earlier was sweet and sour sauce from Aldi this was a delicious meal here's one from Michael Creech looks like breakfast to me a bunch of bacon and boy biscuits and gravy and eggs yeah that's my kind of breakfast here's one from cheryl patrick homemade taco pizza it's what's for dinner and let's see there's a uh, Domino's, this is from Angela Early. Domino's for dinner, yum. Hope you all enjoy your weekend. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, that's, you know, I could go on and on. It's uh, just fantastic stuff everywhere you look. Uh, this looks really good. This is from Crystal Elaine from Cinco de Mayo. Right here. Looks really good. I'll try to get it toward you. See ya. And oh, what did I just do? Go to the comments of it. Hot dogs on the grill. That looks good. I'm just getting hungrier and hungrier here. Here's one from Vonnie Taylor Jeffers. Uh, she made Mediterranean baked veggies with couscous, almonds, and feta for supper. Doesn't that look? That looks so healthy. What did I do to it? And now let's go and look at, uh, let's look at Color Me Happy Club. And this is what you'll see if you are looking for it. And please, by all means, send us a request to join these clubs. 
Color Me Happy has 227 right now. And here's one right off the top from Joy. She's got multiple colorings there. They all look beautiful. And then here's one of For God So Loved the World. And that other one, like a resurrection scene. Here's one from Carol Thomas Magnuson. And now it says, I need some space. <laughs> I like that. I like that one. And then here's one from Kimberly Westervelt. I did another puzzle, Cute Baby Llama. That is cute. Good one. She's been doing a lot of puzzles lately. Here's another one. <laughs> and here's one from Carol. This looks like a flaming pizza. <gasps> Must be a hot pizza. And then here's one from Joy. That's pretty. Here's one from Carol. I like that. Here's one from Robin Sanchez. I bet that was a good one to do. I like the. I like that. Here's some more puzzles from Kimberly. Little ducklings, cute. Look at that pig on the tractor. <laughs> Here's one that Joy did. Let's see here. I'm trying to find it. I like this one. Cat. I don't know what that just did. It did some. Here's one from Jackie Daniels. She colored that with Crayola, center color, 11 something pencils. Eyeshadow was used for the background. That's a good job on that. Zoo. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, and Georgia did that. Okay, let me. Go on to gardening with friends. This is what you'll see looking at for gardening with friends. That's this table, this very table I'm at right now. And over to the right of me here would be where all these tomatoes were at this time. We had tons of them. A lot of those are Cherokee purples. Uh, some are big boys. I think these are big boys or better boys. I think they were big boys. And I think there was a, a rainbow, something called rainbow something. And there was maybe one other kind in there. It was so nice having all those. We'll have them. Believe me, we'll have them. So that's what you look for, looking for that. And here's what all three of my beds look like today. They're all ready. I got up this morning and a Squirrel had dug in the, where I planted the carrots and messed up two rows over in this area here. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get uh, plastic forks. I saw a hack on the video. It's, it's Actually, it's posted in here, this video is. And uh says they don't like, here's a picture of them uh, with the forks. Supposed to keep like rabbits, squirrels, cats, whatever, you know, out of raccoons. They just don't like it for some reason. They don't, I guess, want to touch the uh, plastic forks. 
know what it is or whatever if it works i don't care what it looks like you know i just want to make sure my seedlings are left alone and the seeds i had to go out in the rain this morning and fix it up and replant it and i'm sure i'll have some seeds scattered around you know in other places here's a few pictures i want to see if i can pull this one up especially look at that mm, that was out here at the rock is what it was and so is uh so is that that rock it's going to be covered with flowers again here's some more there now let's see here and uh debbie ring was the first one that she posted this and uh of the this is how I got the idea, and somebody else also sent me uh, something on Messenger about this. Um, she's got a post on here, and it goes to one uh, a different thing that shows some hacks, like 15 or 16 hacks. And uh, the one I posted goes to a different, it goes to a YouTube channel video that uh, has 11 hacks on it, garden hacks, that are really very interesting, and I might be trying some of them. Here's just a, you know, one of the beds where I did it. That's the last one here with the eggplants and uh, uh, zucchini. And that's a closer look at the middle one. And here's one from Cynthia Smith. The strawberries, cucumbers, and strawberry mint were all planted today. So oh, I love strawberries. I had them out there. Um, for a couple years and the rabbits just really had uh, fun with them I had you know it was either they got them or we had to fight just about to get any of them <laughs> because they would be eaten up um, this is just a garden update from my channel life with Mike it's on here here's my plans that I had I always make diagrams and everything it didn't quite exactly work out for the most part it is like this um i had four rows of carrots and four rows of radishes but i ended up with three and three because of space now here's some from joe joe patulik check out joe's garden and bees that's his channel he lives in louisiana and he's having challenging times with all the rain they get uh, he sent me a picture and his yard was all muddy and it stays that way it's and it's the only good thing is he does have raised beds so the groundwater would not be you know as bad of a problem for the raised beds and uh but he's having trouble getting some sun uh, because there's a lot of trees around that have grown up over time uh, his neighbor's trees not his okay here's one from colleen Crowl, and this is pretty cool. Um, she sent this thing on how to space things perfectly by using a muffin pan there. I think that's a pretty neat idea. I really do. I think that would work good. It's a nice looking bed there too. It's like they got several. Only thing I see right here is that might be a little too close together. But as long as you're comfortable getting in between them, it just, it might be more space than it looks, but it kind of looks pretty close. Maybe they had, didn't have enough area to put them further apart. Here's one from Angela Early. My dad gave me a flower today. It doesn't have to be about vegetables. I love flower pictures and I post all kinds of, of flower pictures. Now, Joe does bees and he's doing real good with them. He repainted these is why he posted this. He repainted those beehive and had a couple pictures of his garden. Look at all the raised beds he's got. I mean, that's, there's more than what's shown right there. He has tons of them, so definitely check his channel out. Here's just a few from a few days ago. And that's more the same. Here was a link on uh, grow more potatoes in less space that uh, Joe posted. And here's his white queen tomatoes. 
see all those little flowers come out the blooms. Mm. Here's some radishes that grew. Daikon radish. But you get the idea. Things are starting to pick up. Uh, there's a lot more pictures coming in on gardening with friends, you know, in the winter. We stayed pretty busy, though. We were growing stuff inside, testing stuff, uh, how to how I learned how to do them. And then I, when I actually grew the uh, things from seeds, I knew pretty much what I was doing. Uh, any questions I had, I asked Joe or someone, uh, mainly Joe. So if y'all need any advice, I'll do anything I can, you know, that I know about to help you. And obviously, uh, Joe could help, too. So, um Try to grow something, everyone. I mean, the, the, the way things are, you got more people have a lot of more time at home. And uh, they say gardening is really booming this year. And, uh, of course, the plants have gone up a lot. So that's one reason we decided to try to grow everything from seed, which I didn't do. But uh, I am going to see, this is going to be a good test this year to see which grow better, my own or the store-bought ones. And I can already tell mine look better right now. Let's, we'll see what happens. Then next year I'll have more confidence uh, in in the ones that I grew, and I'll just I won't have to pay the big prices for them at the at the uh, garden centers. So I hope everybody enjoyed this uh, edition of Take a Look at Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club, and of course all the others, the uh, Color Me Happy Club and Gardening with Friends. Come and join us, everyone. We've got the best people that you'll ever meet on all these groups. Uh, you, you, you really, uh, you won't have any trouble or anything like that. And everybody's just really easy to get along with. So, uh, and very supportive. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. That's going to be it for me this evening. Like I said, sorry about, uh, you know, not being able to do the reviews tonight. But if Logan doesn't feel good, he, he would be able to tell it. And he just wouldn't, uh, you know, he trying all that stuff might make him feel worse. So uh, we'll be doing that tomorrow. And um, I'll be seeing everybody in the morning then and morning devotions. Bye, everyone, and God bless.